We claim number two here. And uh, as you can tell, access is very limited uh, when you come to these kinds of places. If it was easy, everyone would be out here. But uh, it's not. What do you think, Prospector Dale? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look Like, easy. this is probably... I mean, we've done a lot of off-roading together, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is probably <laughs> some of the worst... By the, far. The worst roads we've ever been on. Um, you never, you never came on the Mo, the Mogion, not Mogion, Mojave road trip with me, um, but that was fun. That was like driving in the desert, and there were like little dune paths, uh, and dry bed creeks, and sand that you could like, literally max speed, 40 mile an hour, just cruising, slaloming, slaloming through. But this is, I'm on two mile an hour, four low. <laughs> Got my multi terrain select on just because. But uh, it's just, it's bumpy and uh, not fun. We could have taken a left at the fork, but that would have been more of a nightmare. It drops straight down. I'm gonna let this guy go by. You're welcome. Yeah. See, that's how you do it. Look at those. They got big old truck wheels on. Yeah. They can blast right through yeah, it. Yeah, I know. You know, and they also don't have about 500 pounds of equipment in the back of the truck rocking around. That thing's tearing it up. Yeah. It's just crawling right over. Yeah, like it just sits flat. But all these little cobbles. And you don't want to hit a big one that's sharp. Pop a tire. We got 35s on this thing, but still. My friends are kind of bald. But yeah, that's the way we're going to drop down in here. And then we'll, uh, don't want to give too much away about this spot. So we're going to drop down in here, go over some creek beds, and then we'll show you uh, where we're going to start setting up for the day. All right. We're back at it. Some of you may, may remember this spot. We had to do a little bit of damming to get our water back, but that's all right. But uh, Prospector Dill's popping a hole down up here in the top. Someone's been dredging up here. Big, nice, deep hole, and we're gonna start right below it and kind of see where we can work. This is looks pretty unworked. Lots of sand at the top layer, about six inches, and then we're getting into big, big boulders already. So probably gonna be looking pretty nice here. So uh, we're about five minutes into it, and uh, yeah, having fun. That's what it's all about. Found some nice gold yesterday. Not to post a picture of that, uh, but uh, Prospector Dill's getting at it, man. We're going deep today, huh? Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. We've got our hole started pretty good. Starting to undermine this bank here a little bit. Got our first cleanup done down in this barrel gonna get the blue ball set up over here start cleaning up while we uh go deep we're able to finally sit in the hole pretty much and let the dredge do all the work at this point besides moving rocks so looking good we got someone up there getting deep over there on the cross bank but a nice day we got the shade popping and uh yeah we're having fun right, check it out sorry about the loud noise but we got our black sands cleanup going on. We are going to pan out all of our finer mesh, but not black sands. See if we got anything in there. We found some picker, a picker yesterday in this size material. And Prospector Dill's up in the hole working. And we are on some really good gravel. Look, did you just expose all that? Where'd you wash that down from? Up in here? Look at all that hard pack right there with black sand. So this spot is, we saw some gold in the uh, indicator mats, and this spot is gonna start to really get better, I think, as we go deeper. So we're not planning on moving. We're gonna just move down. And uh, I'm gonna stop talking and start helping out. All right, 
it's 3 30 and we're done put a lot of work in that's all of our tailings right there out into the river our dam held up really well um, we're gonna leave all of our gear in position since this is a club claim um, and you know honesty is the best policy I can leave all my gear here without having to worry about someone taking it do you guys want to see the hole that prospector Dell and I uh, started out with up on this beach this lovely beach right up quite a bit from the water level you want to see what we got all right I'll show you so when we first started doing this hole we were getting nice gravels a little bit of overburden there and we started running into a lot of this black mucky stuff with the, that was running with the gravels and the gravels were all running at this lower level here right you can see all that hard pack right in there okay and then we were happening to come upon this black sludge and it was surrounded by all these tree roots that we were having to get through but we almost gave up on the level we were we were finding this black sludge all throughout the level but as we were prying down through we kept hitting rocks and below the sludge level is old hard packed big river rock with gravels in it and it is just freaking loaded and it's hard and there's a lot of big boulders all these ones right out here we've been throwing out from the bottom of that hole just right in there so tomorrow we're gonna go deeper that's a 60 inch crowbar no 48 inch crowbar so we've got about a four foot deep hole four four and a half feet uh, from where we started which was beach level going into this bank how did you do Dill? good i'm tired you're wiped huh yeah yeah that was a lot of fun uh we worked our booties off today though i'll tell you that um may, by, between maintaining the pump filter because there's a lot of gunk in this water and uh mucking out this hole we put a lot of work in today um didn't doesn't seem like it but because it's not super super wide i mean it's probably about a, what a three and a half four foot wide hole yeah but it's deep and we moved a ton of material and that's what we're trying to do so we're gonna go up to camp grab some lunch slash early dinner before our dinner have some libations and go clean up what we got we've already seen some gold uh so should be a pretty good afternoon and evening of cleaning up and uh talking the shoot see you guys all right well here's today's concentrates we've got plus 20 mesh minus 20 mostly all black sands and then this is all plus eighth inch this was our little take from the first clean out earlier. Had a couple nice little pieces in it. Uh, and then we'll, oh, there, there's like a pretty nice little piece. This was like our test. Where is it? Right there. This was our test. We went six inches deep to make sure we were on something and we found that. So we kept going. We're gonna run our concentrates through here. Had a hell of a day today, put in a good amount of hours as you guys saw that hole. Um, so we're going to let this bad boy run. We're munching on some snacks and just kind of hanging out. Beautiful sunset today compared to yesterday. Got some clouds whispering in and uh, we're going to see the sunset right over those mountains. So, yeah. Enjoy the scenery, you guys. out our plus 20 mesh still got some of our black sands we're like halfway through adding it seeing a good amount of color in there we just did a little bit but uh 
Check out what we got in our plus 20. That is a nice little flat picker. Oops. There we go. Ready? Yeah. So nice first piece of piece of gold out of uh, today's hole. Um, we've got quite a bit in the cleanup over here. Uh, ran the metal detector over this stuff, and I did get a little tiny hit, but I highly doubt it. I'd love to see something in this mesh, so that's what I'm going to do next.